This video is going to cover the uh, adding devices via the uh, online uh, code bank and the online library of dr device drivers. Uh, so, so far in our project, we've added the uh, BC4 controller and we've added some sources from the uh, built in code bank. Uh, but there are devices that are not in the built in code bank. Um, so, to cater for that, what Bitwise have done is put together an online library where they can add uh, additional drivers uh, and indeed, as a um, a good corporate citizen, um, if you create a driver yourself, you can upload that to the online library so that um, other dealers around the world can benefit from that. Um, drivers, IR drivers, clearly are, are primarily created by learning, using the, uh, the learner on the uh, BC4 by learning IR commands from the remote control. Or you may have um, IR drivers in hex format, which you can then convert um, that, uh, which obviously gives you a higher level of accuracy. Uh, so if you, to get to the online uh, library, uh, you go to the tools menu, and here you'll see it says online device library. And this allows us to then download, you haven't got to go searching around some cryptic website looking for stuff, it's all laid out for you uh, from within the project editor software. So um, I'm looking for a uh, couple of um, online uh, devices um, in my project um, to give me better audio on my uh, TV. It's a very thin LG TV I have here uh, in my training room and the speakers are really small and very tinny. To give me better TV audio, I've also got a SpeakerCraft uh, CS3 under TV speaker. Um, which is set up in the code bank as an IR device. Um, so all I have to do is select IR device and go into the powered speaker area. And there I have SpeakerCraft and there's the CS3 TV. Um, and that's a driver that, guess what, that we, we, uh, we created and uploaded to the online uh, code bank. Once I'm happy with that, I found the right one, I can hit download and that will then download that driver. It says success. This device has now been imported into your, uh, it's now been downloaded and now you can import it into your project. Um, I also, in my project, um, I need, um, I've also got a 4x4 Geffen HDMI matrix, which is um, also in the library. Um, so I'm going to go to matrix switch and manufacturer Geffen, and then there's the 4x4 HDMI matrix. Again, I want to download that driver onto my computer. And the other thing in my little project here in the training room, I've also got a Sky HD box. Um, so I go to IR devices and under satellite and Amstrad, then there's a UK Sky, H, Sky Plus HD. Uh, driver which I can download which clearly I've downloaded at some point in the past as well but I'll just overwrite it so that's now on my computer to bring them into the project I now need to right click on IR devices and import IR devices that then opens up a window and shows me where under um, Bitwise controls project editor devices. That's where it's dumped a discrete individual file for each device. Uh, really handy because obviously you can email that to another, uh, email that to a colleague. If you create a device driver that's not up on the online library yet, you can just export it and email it to a colleague or a friend or another engineer in the company. Uh, but well, I'd, I'd strongly recommend getting it on the online library and then it's always there, provided you've got an internet connection. So, um, I'm going to add the uh, CS3, which is my um, uh, SpeakerCraft uh, uh, under TV speaker. And um, I've actually got that um, on IR port 1 as well as my TV. It's okay, you can put a double head and emitter on a single IR port from the BC4 and have multiple devices on the same IR port. That's okay, um, so I can leave that on port one. You'll notice these are all, instead of being in the middle here, uh, it, the, all the codes are down here with the, with the star in front of them. That means they've all been learned um, by us, uh, in this case, um, to create this driver. Uh, 
uh, and again I can test them just by double clicking and I can see you know the volume going up and, and, and I can switch inputs and so on um, so it's good to test as you go um, I also need to um, import um, my Gefn uh, matrix um, which is uh, which I've now done it's in the project must remember to set the IR port this is on port 3 of my BC4 and again I can test it um, with the Gefn matrix switcher uh, numbers 1 to 4 switch the four sources for screen 1 5 to 8 does the four sources for screen 2 9 to 12 for screen 3 and then 13 to 16 for screen 4 so all I need to worry about for the purposes of this exercise is 1, 2, 3 and 4 will switch between my sources for the screen 1. And again I can test them by double clicking and I can see that uh, my IR emitter is flashing on my matrix and it's switching the inputs so that's good and I can run through and test all of those. As I said always test as you go. Lastly I want to import the Sky HD box. Um, which is also one of my sources. So I have two sources in my project. Um, I've got my Apple TV and my Skybox going through a matrix switcher uh, and into the TV. And don't forget to set the um, IR port. I'm on port four for the Sky. Uh, and again, I can test it by very quickly double clicking these buttons here. Um, I can see the IR emitter flashing and the Skybox is powering up and I can test as I go. Okay, so now I've pretty well completed uh, adding all my IR devices as you can see even though I've only got four IR ports I've got five devices because I've got two devices hanging off port one um, there's no reason why you can't have two devices having off every port if you want to giving you uh, lots of devices off a single BC4 don't forget the BC1 has got eight IR ports on it so you've got a lot more capacity there as well okay gonna leave it there for this video and I'll speak to you on the next one thank you